What's up guys? Long time no see. Sam and I are over here in Central Florida. Um, just took a break for a little bit, you know, relaxed and uh, came down here, checked our PO box. Uh, got my stimulus check, which was awesome. Um, and now we are picking up a reload from Tampa, Florida going to uh, Augusta, Florida, if that's how you say it. And then after that, I have a, another reload going from Royal Beach, South Carolina, back down to Georgia. So we're trying to stay, you know, trying to stay in this area. A lot of things have happened in the last couple weeks since you guys have seen us. Um, I don't really want to talk about it too much, especially being on this channel, but I, we, uh, I don't know. I just like being down here better, so we're just, we're going to be down here, guys. I know I changed the plan a couple times, but... Yeah, this is it. We're staying down here. You know, I'm trying to get my family down here. I'm trying to get her family down here. Um, you know, and we want to keep everybody together. So we try, like I stayed alone for like two days to like try it out because you know once we got animals, I'd have to be there by myself all the time. So I stayed there by myself for two days, and a really bad storm came, and it was like 40, like in the 40s at night, and I was freezing. Cody was shaking. I couldn't go anywhere to stay warm. So it was just a nightmare for me. Yeah. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Yeah, so we just decided to scrap that whole idea. Plus, you know, off of it, something happened. She's, you know, we were far out. We were, you know, off the beaten path. Um, and we found out there was a couple crazy people there uh, with records. That, that, and they just love drama, love talking crap about one another. I don't need to be involved with that. Yeah, so we just, we just got out of there. I just, you know, I miss the sunshine, man. I like saltwater fishing, um, especially here in Florida. It's beautiful, and you can't do that there. Um, you know, you can do freshwater, but freshwater's not really my thing. Plus, I want to buy a ki another kayak to get out onto the water here. So, I'm, we're really excited to be back over here. We're going to be getting an RV. Probably going to be looking for a fifth wheel, I think. Um, but we, we definitely want to stay down here, that's, and that's it. You won't hear another peep out of me. <sighs> anyway picking up this 34 I think it's a 34 foot uh, travel trailer so that should be pretty easy it's a pretty short run it's only like I think it's 450 miles it's about seven hours uh, won't be picking it up today because I'm picking it up kind of late in the day because I knew even if I was there at 9 a.m. there's no way I'd be able to pick it up and get all the way to Georgia which is a seven hour run um, you know there's no way I would be getting there in time today to drop it off so I wasn't really in a rush to get there, so we'll be getting there around like 1.30. And we'll drop it off tomorrow bright and early in the morning. And then we're going to shoot up to Myrtle Beach. It's only about three and a half hours. And we're going to grab that unit. So let's go do that. All right, guys. Uh, just passed this Flying J. Sam found a really cheap gas price. So I'm not empty. I'm, only, I'm at three quarters of a tank, so I'm pretty full still. But uh, at that price, I'm not going to pass it up. We are going to fill up at $1.52 a gallon, and for Florida, that's pretty good. The prices don't really go too, too low. I think the cheapest I saw was like $1.48 a gallon, compared to like Oregon or Missouri, where it's like a dollar a gallon. Um, but, you know, this isn't too bad. Sam's inside getting us some snacks and some goodies, and uh, I'm waiting on these guys. Man, they go in here, they use the bathroom, they buy snacks, they sit and chat. I swear, I don't know what they do, but... They're in there for like a half hour. It's crazy. It's like they don't even move their trucks up or anything. And they're not fueling or anything. You know, it's not like they're fueling while they're in there. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of, it really bugs me. But we're in the beautiful state of Florida. So I can't complain. It's like 80 degrees out. Sun's out. It's really nice. The only downfall uh, this time of year is these damn love bugs. Holy crap. They are attacking me. Um. Sam and I were outside doing the damn pre-trip before and <laughs> swear you can't go a second without these things flying in your eye but it's all good I'll take that all day long to, to be in Florida what's up guys so since you last saw me I dropped off two different loads uh, that first one to Georgia and then we shot up to Myrtle Beach and I did a one day load down to um, Georgia again Georgia again yeah sorry and I got there by the skin of my teeth and they were nice enough to take it in, being that it was a transfer. Um, and now we're shooting back up to Myrtle Beach. We're gonna grab another unit and that one's going to a different dealership in Georgia again. So 
uh, we're keeping busy with these reloads. I'm trying to not have to go up to Indiana if I don't have to. Um, I don't know if you guys can see me that well. I don't even know if that helps. Can you see our pretty faces? But my transport plates expire at the end of the month, so uh. I'm going to have to go up there eventually before the end of the month and get my new ones. Um, and I don't, I don't think they mail them, which kind of blows, but... Yeah. We were just hoping to stay after. Is what it is though. I did my safety training class today. That was awesome because um, due to the coronavirus, they're doing it on, like on, uh, what is that? On an app. <laughs> yeah, on an virtual. app. Virtual. Yeah, virtual. And uh, you know, you do, they send you a link and you download the app Zoom and you click the link and it like sets you right into that, I don't know, like that class. Uh, class. And it was really easy. Started at nine o'clock, it went for an hour and a half. The last one I was in was like th like two and a half, three hours. You know, because everybody, yeah, a lot of, you know, whatever, it's a lot of the older guys, they're asking questions, they keep asking questions, they keep asking questions. People. And, uh, you know, it just really delays the class. I don't understand how to use the keep trucking. I don't understand how to log. I never did electronic logs. A lot of the older guys who, uh, you know, have been trucking forever, um, you know, when they come over here, they're so used to paper logs, and now we're, you know, we're doing it electronically on the app on the keep trucking app so they're like lost and it just takes forever to get through that damn class so an hour and a half class literally turns into like two three hours because uh people just keep asking questions and the teacher has to stop and you know explain everything so this was really nice plus you know people that live in florida or texas or california they have to deadhead it all the way to indiana to take this three hour or two hour class and it just, it just stinks, you know? And it's if there's done. no load heading down to your state... Afterwards. Like, yeah, now you're just out trying to right. until there's Right, and that's just... Down. I mean, this is just so much easier. Uh, and there's a load going down right now to Florida. Yeah. But I really hope they stay with this uh, electronic thing. It was great. It signed you in electronically so they know who was in the class. Um, and, like, two hours later, I got my safety class cert um, certificate, like, in the email. It was, it was awesome. I really hope they continue that. But that was the event of my morning. Because um, I dropped that other RV off at 9 a.m. And then I had to jump right into that class at 9 a.m. So. <sighs> long, long day, guys. But when we dropped off that first load, the guy is like, Alright, I'll just sign the paperwork and let you guys go since the transfer. I was like, alright. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was sweet. Nice and easy. The transfers are usually pretty quick. You know, some dealerships will want to look them over a little bit, but most of them are like, oh, it's a transfer, okay. And they just sign it. You know, because a lot of these transfers are sold units, so they're going to, usually, I mean, unless there's severe damage, they're going to take that unit no matter what since it's a sold unit. Um, and if there's any little minor repairs, they'll just take care of that and build the other dealer with, what you know, whatever their cost is. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. So we're shooting back up to Myrtle Beach. 9 a.m. I'm gonna grab this unit. I'm gonna try to uh, deliver it tomorrow. It's a six-hour ride, and uh, they only take delivery till four. I'm gonna call them and see if they can push it to like five. And I think they're open till five, so we'll see like if somebody's five, there. So we'll see if somebody's there to take delivery. I really hope so, because if I could just pick that one up and drop it off same day, and then just you know start heading down to Florida again to hang out, that'd be nice. Or or see if there's another load, whatever the case is. But the least time I have with load, the more money I made on it, you know what I mean? So, that's good. Good morning, guys. What's up? And yes, we're wearing the same clothes as yesterday. And the day before. Because <laughs> I am disgusting. <laughs> we have to do laundry. <laughs> and I spilled peach juice on this shirt yesterday. <laughs> you did. I a lot of it. I'm saving it for later. <laughs> Picked up this unit today in beautiful Myrtle Beach. I gotta tell you guys, if I couldn't live in Florida, I think I'd come over here. Myrtle Beach is really nice. Yeah. Um, there's like just as many palm trees and, and uh, you know, there's no chicks in bikinis yet, but it'll come like when it gets warmer out and this whole COVID thing goes. I'm not trying to make me a man. <laughs> anyway, uh, we picked up this. I wouldn't want to see me in a bikini, so I'd rather stay at somebody else that looks nice in a bikini. You'd want to see me in a bikini though. Ugh. Oh. Okay. I um, get sick just thinking about it. <laughs> you know what? It's not some two girls, one cup <laughs> stuff. Anyway. Yeah, it's so gross. Picked up this 29 <laughs> foot, it's really a 27 foot Coleman Lantern. Uh, it's a nice light little trailer, only 4,800 pounds. 
and we are shooting it over to down to Georgia again today, like I told Georgia. you guys. Uh, and they are going to take this unit up to 6 o'clock tonight um, because it's a transfer and it's a sold unit and it's supposed to be there tomorrow, but I think I accidentally told them today. Um, so maybe that, I don't know, that might help me, I'm not really sure. But, uh, so 6 o'clock and that's more than enough time. Right now I'm getting there at 3.13 and, you know, obviously we have to stop and I have to feed myself to keep my figure and I have to, um, you know, gas up and whatnot, so. Just once, though, because this is a pretty short run. It's only 358 miles, so I almost have enough to get all the way there, but not quite. So, but yeah, that's what we're doing, and then uh, we're just going to keep an eye on the reload board. Update on the loads, guys. Sam and I, knock on wood, through this whole pandemic, have never, have not once, never, uh, down. like, had to, yeah, had to slow down. There was, like, it, it slowed down. Like loads got down to like one or two loads, but then Horizon came up with the win, and they uploaded like eight more pages, and it just and it just kept happening, and uh, yeah, it's great. So we are super busy. There's tons of reloads all over this country right now, uh, and there's yeah, there's Florida like Florida to Florida right now. Really? And there's like 14 pages of outbound, uh, so that that equates to about 140 outbound loads. So we are really busy. So if you guys are interested in running, I'm selecting this. Okay. If you guys are interested in doing this and you have experience, because like I said, you need experience uh, with RV transport, uh, you know, to get in with Horizon. I'm confirming this with you for a sec. Okay, we're confirming uh, this with me. Uh, picking up in Jacksonville, delivering it to Alabama. Yes, sir. I will take that. See, these loads just pop up. So, yeah, keep an eye on that load board. But yeah, Horizon. It uh, is definitely one, probably the biggest company, maybe next to like Indiana Transport, and they always stay busy, more or less. You know, like June they might slow down a little bit, but I mean, there's usually, usually always loads. I mean, I don't, you know, I never starved, I never went broke, I never lost my house. I don't have a house, but you know, <laughs> we uh, just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're really, well, we're really happy with them. You know, so there yeah. there can be some stressful times. You know, where you're like, you know, damn it, but uh. You know, they always take care of you in the end, and, and you know, you always get a paycheck. And well, let's see what happens because next month they do the slowdown to bring out the new units, right? So, let's see what happens with that with the whole virus thing. And then I heard that a whole bunch of plants are laying people off, and now I said they're hiring a whole bunch of people, so I have no idea what's going on with that. Yeah, it's really weird. They're laying some people off and then hiring newbies. I don't know why you'd want to do that because now you got to spend a ton of money training people, you know. And then, and, uh, Forest yeah. River is opening another plant. That's fine. I mean, we, yeah. we move a ton of Forest River units, so. And uh, the guy that was taking at the dealership, he's saying his RVs are going. Every going dealership we've been to, guys, has been super, super busy. And every time I go in to get paperwork signed or pick up a unit or drop a unit off, there is tables full of people, um, you know, filling out applications or discussing what kind of RV they want. So, um, you know, there is no shortage of, of RV, you know. The only thing that can slow us down as transporters is the fact that a lot of the stuff that the RV companies use it comes from China and with this whole um, pandemic. you know pandemic and they're they're putting a stop to at the border you know importing goods it's kind of making it a little more difficult for these companies to get uh, the pieces they need to put these things together so other than that though I mean it's the economy is booming for the RV industry. It really is. Everybody's like, oh my god, it's going to tank and nobody's going to want to do this anymore. But it's like the complete opposite. Everybody is is really, you know, the RV industry is like really taking off now. So, if you're interested in getting into RV transport, um, you know, I'd say definitely go for it. But, but keep in mind, you know, with this whole pandemic thing, it might be a little tricky to get on with some companies right now because they not, might not be hiring. Uh, and as well as, you know, we just don't know what the future holds with product you know because if they don't have product you know we can't ship air we don't ship air so we need the product to ship it to make money so yeah we are gonna get on the road here like I said we have five hours and 45 minutes I'm gonna stop somewhere because I'm hungry I I did not well, I was gonna stop when we get, usually I like to stop when we're guessing up that way it's one huge hole not stopping guess up no stopping to eat then a little while later we got stopped to she obviously up. doesn't care about me and wants me to starve to death we only ate once yesterday. Once yesterday, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm fasting. 
I mean, I must have lost like 30 pounds yesterday. Look at me. I got Applebee's yesterday. It was so good. Uh, we got so full though. Yeah. We, had, we had boneless wings and uh, Fiesta Lime Chicken. If you guys haven't had that from uh, Applebee's, it's really it's on good. on the two for 20 menu. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, cheap, kind of. And uh, you, get, you share an appetizer and then you eat your own meal. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then we, we you know, share like a backwash drink. It's disgusting. She backwashes. No, I don't. Disgusting. Oh, don't throw me under the bus. <laughs> it is disgusting. Oh my God. She'll be like, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The whole yeah. damn drink goes. Uh, yeah, I drink it and I swish it around in my mouth and, I, and then I put it back in. It seems like, tell you, there's more food in the damn <laughs> soda bottle than there is soda. No, it's not me. All right. Oh, you guys have to. Try. I'm not really a fan of Dr. Pepper, but this Dr. Pepper and cream soda is pretty good. So the uh, stupid dining room is still closed here at this Wendy's, and if you haven't tried their breakfast, it's really good. They got like potato wedges. They're really good. And they like legit potato wedges. But uh, oh, what's wrong with you? So there's no like overhead thing. So I'm in the drive-thru with a big ass RV. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine what the people behind me are like, what the hell? This guy's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people go through drive throughs with trailers, but they're usually like utility trailers, you know? Not like a full-size RV. <laughs> it's all good. We're hungry. We need to eat. Yeah, I need to eat. They need to open these dining rooms up again. They really do. It's phase one. Let's go. Yeah, come on. I've been out here this whole damn time battling this thing. I've been pushing it out of the way. They're like, sha, sha. Yeah. Cody! Baloney! Excited? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Yay! Hell howl. Ready? Wait, I want to see. Woo! Usually he'll do it really long. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! We're pulling up now! I'm sure you don't get too close. Yeah. Uh, I take my seat a little three times, lady. Holy sh! God, nasty. <laughs> 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 How am I? How are you? I'm peachy. Oh, I was like, someone stole my, my card. I forgot I gave it to her. <laughs> you. Yo, demon dog over there. <sighs> Kobe. Can we say that? That's what we do. We, we throw garbage on the floor. Yeah, well, and then I then we hit a gas station, I clean it out. Sometimes. I like to live in filth. <laughs> you guys couldn't tell me because we like to wear the same clothes. Yeah, we wear the same clothes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about the future. Like, if I get hungry, I just be like, you know, and, and drink my peach juice off my shirt. <laughs> Cody! Oh, this lady has pot in her truck. You know, pots. Hello? Waiting to get my food stuff. Hello? Yeah, I know. You're mad too, right? I know. We're all mad. You're always mad, Cody. <laughs> Breakfast? Oh. Nibbies? 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 A fat neck. <laughs> Oh, we got the load, by the way. Yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, you too. Make sure you don't hit the building where you pull out. <laughs> That's not extra points? Oh. <laughs> I got blooped that out. <laughs> you told me that was extra points. If I hit the building with the RV. Oh, I gotta put my GPS Chuck Spockin. Spockin. <laughs> where are you from, Boston? Boston? Just truck parking. They got the truck parking over there. It's truck parking if you couldn't eat. Oh, the girl's window up. 
No, you stop and eating and you keep going. No, I don't have time for that crap. Mm. I'll show you what the wedges look like. Get out of the way! Get off the phone! God, these people in their electronics. Ow. As I record on a GoPro while I drive. Wedges, bottles and shots. Wedges! These are so good. Uh, uh, oh, they're hot. Oh, they're hot. They're a bunch of dummies. We like, you can feel it's hot. And I put it in my mouth anyway. I'm like, oh, oh, it's hot. Oh my God. Five hours and 15 minutes. Or are you chewing like a damn cow? Five, five, five like, hours and 15 minutes. We're watching our show and then we're eating like yesterday. Apple's like, and he's like, what did he say? I was like, I don't know. I couldn't hear from you chewing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you a cow? I really want to just drop her off. <laughs> Anybody want to take her? Anybody, like, is anybody going to be in, like, the uh, Macon, Georgia area? If you are, like, just give me your address. Just emails me, and uh, I'll just drop her off. All right? All right. Guys, I got to tell you, we are doing really, really good with these reloads lately. Uh, thanks to Sam. We, so, while I was talking to you guys before, she found a load on the board going from Jackson, Florida to Alabama. Uh, now, five minutes ago, she was looking at the board again because we are constantly looking at that load board. That's the best way to do it because they put up loads all throughout the day and on Saturday and Sunday, even though there's nobody there. I'm telling you, somebody is uploading loads on the weekend, so you always have to keep your eye out on this load board. So, the load from Jackson to uh, Alabama, where we're dropping off, Sam just got me a reload from that same dealer in Alabama back to wood uh, back to woodstock georgia so that's awesome nice 21 little 21 footer um, so that's really it's a, it's a short run i don't know how many miles probably 200 miles but you know i'm gonna be there anyway so what the hell so i'm really happy about that <laughs> uh we are an hour and 19 minutes away from dropping this unit off and i cannot wait to do it because i've been driving six hours straight um, to, you know, just to hustle and get it there and drop it off. They said they'll take delivery till 6, but we're getting there around like 3.30ish. Yeah, I just want to get it over with. And then we got to drive down to Florida. I don't want to be there for the morning, so it's like, you know, whatever. Anyway, I thought I'd just let you guys know about that. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. And, uh... Remember, if you want to hire me, it's 20 an hour. Yeah, if you want to hire Sam to be your... Your, uh, load board load watcher. board watcher, dispatcher person. <laughs> <laughs> we'll charge you five dollars a load. No, twenty an hour and ten percent out of that load. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna hire you. Come on. That's way too much money. <laughs> uh, damn train tracks. Woo, that RV rocked a little. <laughs> Lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> oh, I okay. Going tonight. I'm gonna find it. All right, guys. Another one down in the books. That lady was so nice to check that unit in. We're here at uh, Camping World of Macon. You're Mackin. making me crazy. You're making me crazy. <laughs> um, I guess she's she's a service person, but she's really nice. She's like, I'm so sorry for making you wait. I was waiting. Yeah, like, like I was like so shocked by like she said that. No yeah. one ever said that to us. And, and the crazy thing is, is like I was only waiting like 20 minutes. Like you know, it wasn't a big deal. I was, yeah, we were I was busy like, doing whatever on our phones. I was like, I've been to dealers where they take hours to check it, and this is nothing. I was like, this is quick to me, yeah, and I, I appreciate too. it. So, that was cool. We dropped that one off. Uh, good news. Good news. I totally forgot that Horizon ships out plates. So, I don't have to go there to get plates. They're going to... Well, they only did it because of the virus, no? No, I think they normally do, and I forgot. I don't know. Anyway, they're shipping them out to my P.O. box down here in Florida. Um, and they're going to be going out shortly, they said. So that is awesome. So I don't have to drive a thousand miles just to pick up a pair of plates. Yeah. Um, and then I guess I mail the old plates back or I'll drop them off whenever I'm up there. Good morning, guys. Just got some breakfast over at the old Burger King. And now we are heading over to this uh, reload over here in Jackson, Florida. But first, we got to make a stop. Sam is due for an upgrade uh, on her phone, and she really needs it because I dropped her phone and cracked her screen accidentally. So, um, you know, plus her phone is old. It's an iPhone 7, and it's really iPhone slow. Six. Oh, 6? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's just a piece of junk. It's just so, like, outdated. Um, I have a problem with it all the time. So she's going to get a new iPhone, and, and it 
it's like the T-Mobile dealership's like five or seven minutes away from the pickup. Uh, pickup so we're gonna do that. Sam scored me another awesome reload. Guys, get this. I am going from Jackson, Jacksonville, literally. To Jacksonville to uh, Cicero, Alabama. Yeah, and then I'm picking up at that same dealer in Cicero, Alabama, going back to going up to Woodstock. And then I'm picking up another reload from Woodstock, that same deal that I'm dropping that Alabama load off from, and I'm taking it back to Alabama. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, if this works out, this is like an all-star play. Like, this never happens. Three loads that I don't have to drive to, like, they're just, I'm just picking up from the same dealer. It's insane. Mind-blowing. So, I really hope it all works out. And I finally get to put my fifth wheel, you know, I've been doing all these travel trailers lately. I haven't picked up any fifth wheels. Um, but this last like reload that we're going to be doing is a 36 foot fifth wheel. So I'll finally be getting back on the fifth wheel ball, and uh, that'd be awesome. And after that, we have to head down to Florida because we got some eBay stuff that has to get shipped out. Yeah, yeah, I got some eBay sales that happened overnight and from a couple days ago. So we gotta get that out of here. Um, we only have a three day handling thing on our thing right now since we're so close to Florida. So we'll get that stuff done. So this is this is good. We are doing really really well. And then after that, I think we're gonna we're gonna find. I think we want to go to a KOA or something. We want to hang out for a little while. I want to do some grilling. I want to make some wings and burgers and just hang out. It's beautiful down here. You know, I've been in this truck. We've been in this truck nonstop. You know, the miles have been just racking up. So I'm ready to just hang out. But right now we're gonna, like I said, knock out her phone and then we're gonna go pick up this load. So let's go do that. All right, guys, we are all set up. We got our 32-foot uh, Pioneer travel trailer headed to Alabama. Uh, it was a nice quick pickup. This this place was pretty quiet uh, compared to the rest of them. Oh. Oh, all right. Sam got something. They had like a big clearance section outside I've of been wanting one. it, and it's, yeah. it's like... Exciting, exciting news for you. This is a game changer. We got approved today for a 2008 Coachman Chaparral. This is like, this, this is huge, okay? Because when we first started this channel, if you go all the way back to like our first videos, it's about us getting our 2003 Coachman Chaparral, which I regret. That's probably my biggest regret in life, I swear. Uh, is getting rid of that and RV. Me. <laughs> and dating her, right? But uh, we are getting another one. I am so excited. We are gonna go, and we found an RV park and everything already. We're not saying we are for you know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it a little purposes. safe. Um, but it is in Florida. It's a really nice place, and I'm staying. I am keeping this thing. I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna stay there forever, but we'll move it around. Um, but I am so excited about this, guys. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. Uh, so we got to go down there Monday, sign paperwork, and we can move in on Monday. So we'll be hitting storage on the way down because um, this place is a little, it's, it's further than um, like where our storage unit is. So I guess we'll hit storage on Monday, grab whatever we're going to bring for now, and, uh, and head down there and sign paperwork, and we'll show you guys that. It'll probably be in a separate video. It's not going to be in this one because this, this video is already probably pretty long. But man, I, I, RVing is in my blood. I move them for a living. I, I just love it. And I love Florida. I really do. I was crazy to leave. I, was, I really was. I just, I love it down here. I, I like tried it. something new. I was always, always in, I was always into homesteading and roof gridding. Yeah. And you know, in Florida, you're not able to do that. So we tried doing it in well, Missouri because well, it's more lenient. Well, you can homestead. You can't you just, off grid. You can't Sorry, be like totally off grid. But, um, She's, gonna, she's still going to be able to do like her vegetables and, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm still going to do it at my RV spot. I'm yeah. probably going to do that on my own channel that I have. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to show my garden. Because, you know, I can't go crazy like if I had my own piece of land. Yeah. So I got to, you know, keep it to a minimum. But guys, I am so excited to be a full-time RVer again. I mean, I, it's just been something that's, I don't know, it's like, just it's part of me. Cutting board. I, I tried, <laughs> you know, I tried something different, but I, I belong in an RV. And, uh, and we're so grateful we were able to get this. There's campgrounds that aren't allowing anybody in Florida because of the virus. A lot of campgrounds. So actually, actually, most campgrounds aren't allowing um, full time, like full timers and permanent residents. Yeah. Like she's saying, because of the virus. Um, so 
we're lucky that we're able to get the RV and now be able to move in right away. Yeah, this is this is really, really a great <laughs> ideal setup. But yeah, I'm really excited about this, guys. So make sure you, if you haven't already subscribed, I know our subscribers have been going up and up. Yeah, we're thank real you close for our new subscribers. To, we're really close to a thousand, so we're trying to get there. So if you guys haven't already, and maybe you've been watching our videos and you've been on the, uh, you know, on the edge of thinking about maybe subscribing or not, you know, really consider it this video. We'd really appreciate your support. Um, and to everybody that's been with us from the beginning, you know, we really appreciate your support as well. I have a couple stickers left if you guys are interested. The link is down below. There's a couple different ways to pay. Um, and I can get those out to you guys right away if you're interested. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. And Sam I, again, really appreciate it. Yeah. Guys, we, I, I am so excited. We're going to get on the road here. We're going to head, we're heading to Alabama. And I will see you guys in a little bit once we stop at this pilot so I can get some gas. And uh, I need a cold drink because it is hot here in Florida. It's like 85 degrees today. But when you run around all doing right. all this stuff, it's, <laughs> it gets bad. <laughs> Woo, I'm so hyped up about this RV. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. Because we were waiting like two days for an answer. Yeah. And we're getting antsy. And... Yeah. Yeah, I was getting, I was getting antsy. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are almost nine minutes shy of four hours into this trip. And uh, we have a Cracker Barrel in where we are going to park it for the night. Um, because it's way past the time this dealership will take delivery. And we are going to get some delicious sirloin steaks for dinner because I deserve it. We're going to celebrate. And we're going to celebrate our new official home where I'm not moving. I refuse to move. Um, man, I'm so excited about this. I, I can't stop talking about it. I don't know if you guys want to hear about it. How but... good is that? A passing lane? Yep. I hope it's a passing lane, not turning only. Come on, 400 horsepower. Let's do it. Passing safely, of course. This guy's going like 40 in a 65. I don't know what his deal is. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some dinner here and eat. We're two and a half hours away from it. Yeah, well now we're, wow, well, we're about two hours, yeah. All right guys, we finally made it here. Just taking Cody Bub for a walk. Cody Baloney. Um, uh, I gotta tell you guys, I'm gonna, you know, I was, when I was at the Enterprise place the other day getting um, you know that what is it called sorry the recall taken care of they were telling me that they don't know if they're going to have rams uh, by the time I need another truck and right now I'm at 45,000 miles and by the time I do all these runs uh, by tomorrow I'll probably be at like 46,000 47,000 um, so I really don't want a Ford I just I have no interest. I drove one when I was up there while they were fixing this truck. They gave me a loaner, uh, Ford F-250. I hated it. I didn't like the mirrors. They're very small. I'm just so used to the Dumbo mirrors on these Rams. I like how much room they give me and stuff. Um, you know, to see like around. And uh, I don't know, the gas, the brake pedal was really weird. I just felt like it was like up in your face. And then the steering wheel was like very different. So I'm just really not interested in in a Ford, and I really hope I don't have to go into a Ford, so we'll see. Sam ran inside, she wants to go use the bathroom and grab our steaks because we ordered them online, so they should be done by now. Where are you taking me, Cody? Where are we going? Cody! i tell you one thing I love about this Ram, though, is that exhaust brake. Ugh, oh, it is. Ugh. Oh. I love the way that Cummins sounds on that exhaust brake. It is awesome. I doubt the Ford's going to sound anything like that. You can't even hear the new Ford diesel. It sounds like a car engine. It's a, it's a, it's a joke. Although I heard that 10 speed is sick and uh, I heard it has a ton of power, but I, you know, I don't know. I, when I'm driving a diesel, I want to hear the diesel. That's just me personally. All right, Cody, you ready to go back in the truck? We'll get some food. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit once we get inside. I'm probably gonna end this one here that way I can throw it up for you guys, so you guys can know that you know we're still kicking and <laughs> what we've been up to. Yeah, what and we've then been up to. Monday will be, or probably like Tuesday maybe, because Monday we'll be uploading. So Tuesday, you guys will most likely see the RV that we're moving into. Monday is gonna be a much better day. I am super excited. I can't wait. And uh, that's probably what the next video will be after this one. So keep your eyes out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. 
hit that notification bell that way once that video gets uploaded um, you get a pretty little notification on top of your phone and uh, you guys can check it out sound good sound good oh right. check out Sam's new phone it's really nice I'm jealous iPhone 11 and purple I'm really jealous the phone's a piece of crap my, my old one has like a crack and everything in it because of someone yeah not me <laughs> all right guys we will see you guys in the next one